Science and Technology will come to order. Without objection, the chair is authorized to declare recesses of the committee at any time. Good morning and welcome to today's hearing entitled Artificial Intelligence, With Great Power Comes Great Responsibility. I now recognize myself for five minutes for an opening statement. First, I would like to uh, note that one of our witnesses, uh, Dr. Jaime Carbonell from Carnegie Mellon, Mellon University, is unable to be here today due to a medical emergency. We wish him well and a speedy recovery, and without objection, will ensure his written testimony is made part of the hearing record. One of the reasons I've been looking forward to today's hearing is to get a better sense from our witnesses about the nuances of the term artificial intelligence and implications for our society in a future where AI is ubiquitous. Of course, one might say AI is already pervasive. Since the term was first coined in the 1950s, we have made huge advances in the field of artificial narrow intelligence, which has been applied to many familiar everyday items such as the technology underlying Siri and Alexa. Called ANI for short, such systems are designed to conduct specific and usually limited tasks. For example, a machine that excels at playing poker wouldn't be able to parallel park a car. Conversely, AGI, or artificial general intelligence, refers to intelligent behavior across a range of cognitive tasks. If you enjoy science fiction movies, this definition may conjure up scenes from any number of classics, such as Blade Runner, The Matrix, or The Terminator. For many individuals, the term AGI invokes images of robots or machines with human intelligence. As it turns out, we are decades away from realizing such AGI systems. Nevertheless, discussions about AGI in a future in which AGI is commonplace lead to some interesting questions worthy of analysis. For example, Elon Musk has said, has been quoted as saying that AI, quote, is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization and poses vastly more risk than North Korea. Does that mean that AGI may evolve to a point one day when we will lose control over machines of our own creation? As far-fetched as that sounds, minds and scientists are certainly discussing such questions. For the short term, however, my constituents are concerned about less existential issues that usually accompany new and evolving technologies, topics such as cybersecurity, protecting our privacy, and impacts to our nation's economy and to jobs. I am an original co-sponsor of a bill introduced earlier this year titled the AI Jobs Act of 2018 to help our workplace prepare for the ways AI will shape the economy of the future. I will also introduce legislation today to reauthorize the National Institute of Standards and Technology, which includes language directing NIST to support development of artificial intelligence and data science. There is immense potential for AGI to help humans and to help our economy and all of the issues that we're dealing with today. But that potential is also accompanied by some of the concerns that we will discuss today. I look forward to what our panel has to share with us about the bright, as well as the challenging sides of the future with AGI. I now recognize the ranking member of the Research and Technology Subcommittee, the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Lipinski, for his opening statement. 